Yes, you're seeing right. I have put a pizza pan behind the clay. Well, it's dark, and uh, it it emphasizes the clay, and it's not lost with all the stuff going on behind it. Um, I, I I'm, I've been suffering f from just feeling lousy for the last <coughs> two days, and uh, I'm forcing myself here. It's about uh, six o'clock in the evening. I've been in bed, in and out of bed all day today, just uh But I'm going to try to get something done today. And uh, what got me started uh, on uh, this uh, rethink was a painting that I saw just recently by an artist uh, uh, by the name of uh, Turpening, I think his name is. And let's see if I can get this up here. You can see the uh, warrior here wearing the wolfskin headdress. And it just looks so much lighter than the uh, headdress I've got on my figure on the horse that I thought, you know, I can do the same thing. I also watched uh, a couple of uh, films uh, that are pretty accurate. Uh, a Man Called Horse was uh, actually people at the uh, historic uh, museum, uh, Smithsonian or something like that, I think, uh, helped in the making of that movie as far as clothing and, and, and practices and stuff like that. And they had uh, wolfskin headdresses on, uh, on the scouts. And what I found interesting was that the nose of the wolf was cut off. And just from just below the eyes to the ears was all that was left on the head itself. And the rest of the skin hung down uh, loose behind. Um, and I guess that kind of makes sense to me. Um, but anyway, um, so I, I, I think I know how I'm going to do this. Uh, but uh, right, I'm just going to start uh, putting clay on. Um, I'm going to take measurements here. What I'm going to do is make a head measurement uh, um, checker. And this is going to be the head measurement right there. And then what I do is I just bend it like that. And then I can check my head measurements uh, easily, more easily that way. What I'm doing is positioning the body in the position I want for riding on the horse. And uh, I just put the head armature on the figure. And that's what I'm doing right now, just uh, getting it back into position for when, it, when I put this on the horse. All right. Let's start putting clay on this figure.
All right, that's going to have to be it for today. I'm just not feeling all that good. So I'm going to call it quits and uh, uh, and pick this up tomorrow. But uh, you can see that I've got the, the hips sketched in. I've got the arms uh, started, uh, measured out, and all that stuff. I'm not going to put as much detail into the back as I did the, the last time because now I know I'm going to be covering all that with uh, this wolf skin. So I'm um, going to be taking a different approach on that. When I Before I put the wolf skin back here, I'm going to put him back on the horse, but I want to get the face started and get the upper chest and all that stuff going. Um, and then I'll add the uh, headdress uh, on the head. But uh, that's going to have to be for another day. Because right now I'm going back to bed after I have a bowl of chicken soup <laughs> and drink a little uh, water, lots of water actually. All right, uh, good night everybody and, and uh, I love you all and uh, I appreciate you watching my videos. And if you appreciate my videos, please click the uh, little button down there that says you like it. It would really be nice. All right. Good night.